and welcome to another episode of Rookie Does Crafts. Um, I'm fair enjoying getting to grips with art supplies and everything at the moment, so I thought I would pick this little bumper pack up from The Works in the UK. And this is the bumper drawing set from Crawford and Black. And I thought I would open it with you and do a little doodle with me thing. Like I am bog standard artistry kind of thing when it comes to pen to paper or pencil to paper in this case. So uh, please don't judge. I just wanted to show you what you got for £10 with this little set. I believe they do it in acrylic, um, oils and watercolour, I believe, in these little sets, which is really good. And they're all £10. So, I mean, if I didn't already have the other stuff that's in the acrylic, uh, that's in the watercolour set, then I probably would have picked that up. I might pick up the acrylic one just because I want to dabble in all mediums kind of thing and i can't help myself like buying art supplies is definitely a brand new addiction for me and i ain't mad so let's just dive right in so as you can see through the packaging you've got some charcoal pencils sketching pencils coloring pencils paper stumps um the kneadable putty erasers a little mini figure form and a sketchbook and then on the back it just shows you sorry about the glare for my ring light you won't have that problem once i take it out of this plastic packaging but this just tells you everything that you get you get all your standard um h and b pencils and you get a packet of coloring pencils too which i think is pretty cool so i'm just going to open it up right now for you so this is everything out of the packaging once again i'm sorry for the glare from my ring light i need to figure out how to use this area a little bit better but i think for 10 pounds this is quite a decent bargain i mean i had some of these kneadable putty erasers in my basket already and i believe these are like three or four pounds for this two pack so that's like a third nearly a quarter or whatever nearly half of your money straight away i mean i don't know how good they are but i've seen a lot of artists recommend using these over the other razors because you can get more precision um point and everything if you want to get into nice little nooks and crannies so i'm excited to try them the mini artist mannequin is just one of those little posable mannequins i always wanted one of these as a kid just to play with and like put into silly positions probably rude positions knowing me because i am immature as hell <laughs> you've got some charcoal pencils as well um unfortunately i won't be able to test these today because i don't know where my pencil sharpener is next up is a 12 set of sketching pencils so you've got all of your hb um yeah them <laughs> can you tell that i don't know much about this stuff and then finally a packet of coloring pencils i mean i've kind of gone a bit crazy with coloring pencils at the moment so i'm quite excited to try these and see if they stand up against some of my favorites that i've got at the moment oh no not lastly here we go paper stumps i have no idea what to do with these i asked one of my um artsy friends what you do with them and apparently they're for blending out pencils like the actual pencils i don't know i'm going to give it a go we'll just see how we get on with that so <laughs> so with this sketch pad you get 30 sheets of 100 gsm quality paper it's spiral bound and perforated i hate perforated edges like in my other sketchbook i put masking tape down so it stops it from tearing out but we shall uh how we're we gonna do this maybe like that because i am left-handed so i'm just thinking i'll block all you viewing content there so i'll put it sideways a little bit and i'm going to just quickly sketch out something again please be with bear with me i am not good at this i'm going in with the 2b pencil because all the artists that i follow on youtube and everything use the 2b pencil so it seems to make sense for me to use the 2b pencil maybe i don't know i'm really sorry and i'm just going to quickly open up the needable putty erasers Oh, it's so squidgy. Oh my god. That's incredibly satisfying. Oh, I could sit playing with this for hours, but no, we must we must get to drawing. But this is fun. From what I've seen on other videos though, theirs is like super more <clears throat> needable. This one's got a lot of like stiffness to it. I don't know if over time it'll oh there we go. Oh it's like non-sticky chewing gum it's very satisfying but yes stop playing with the needed eraser chantelle and just get to drawing okay okay i apologize i'm done <laughs> okay so i'm just going to quickly draw a form of some sort again i'm really sorry if this looks poo but i 
I've only just really started drawing, so yeah, here we go. She's looking angry. Right, okay, so. <laughs> oh my god. Um, she can have pocket. Uh, I don't know, because that hand is super depressing. Oh, this poor, poor lady. Let's call her. She can be Monica. Oh, Monica, what are we going to do with you, eh? I just don't know how to draw clothes. I don't know how to draw much of anything, to be fair, but... <laughs> of course, this is a rookie does crafts, meaning I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So... You've just got to suffer in silence as you watch me tackle these things. I'm getting there. Like, this is better than what I was doing, like, two, three weeks ago. There's no video footage of that, though, because that was shocking. But yes, I'm going to open the coloured pencils now and uh, see how good they are. I'm not, I haven't got high hopes, to be fair, but we shall see how they are. So, let's just plunk them down here. Now this character, she has got green and black hair. I have drawn her before in my sketchbook. Um, my one downstairs. Uh, using alcohol markers. I believe she's got green and black hair. I'm sure she's got green and black hair. I don't know, but this version of her is going to have green and black hair. I'm happy that she's finally got a name. She hasn't had a name for like two weeks, so. Now she's got a name. This is Monica. Hi, Monica. I don't really know what I'm doing. She's got no ears. So that, that's a good start. We're off to a swimming start here, aren't we? But, <laughs> good Lord, Chantal. And I should have rubbed the, um, the sketch work out a little before, just so it was a rough baseline. I'm going to do that with the rest because lord knows she needs some help oh this poor poor lady oh can i get some of the line work out with this apparently i can get some of the colored work out with this as well wow magic so <laughs> i've got to go back over with my greens uh, what can I use to blend it? I might blend a yellow over it so it pulls a bit more of a yellowy green. I say blend, these pencils. I mean, they're not bad, but they're not amazing. Like, same as I said, I'm super new to this, so I've probably got like four or five packets of pencils, colouring pencils now. Um, and I've got better within that small collection that I have at the moment um 
these I'll probably end up giving to my children. Because they're, they're not amazing, but like, they're good for them. In this set, like, I'm not mad at them in this set. Like, this set was pretty good. So, you know. So I've learnt from many of the artists that I follow on here, on Instagram, that you want to limit your colour palette. So you've got complementary colours or you've got... Um, it's just easier, it doesn't seem too busy and everything. Again, I like how I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm doing. Like, please just bear with me and I apologise if this is coming across as like jokey and stuff. I don't intend for it to come across as me like taking the mick or anything like that. I'm genuinely like really excited to see how I progress in my artistry as such. But it is, it's just a hobby for me. Like I don't plan on getting any growth out of this or anything. My intention isn't to ever sell anything. It's just a, a creative outlet because with body painting, you can't stop midway through and decide, oh, I'll pick that up on another day. I'll pick it up again tomorrow. Cause it's, it's on you, like you've got to finish it. Otherwise you're just rubbing it off and you've wasted seven, eight hours. I wanted something I was able to put down. So in enters arts and crafts. I think this poor girl's hair has suffered enough. Let me just use that black to do her eyes. Um, This isn't a, uh, God, that's terrifying. This isn't a, oh, look what I can draw video. This is me kind of testing. Wow, that's, that's bad. Right, okay, this is, this is where we're going with this, okay. Oh, black eyes, yep, okay. Some eyebrows, she has some fierce, sharp eyebrows. They look a lot like my eyebrows. <laughs> Much too dark for my skin tone and my face and everything. Old as hell, that's what we like. I don't like colouring pencils. In the short time that I have been doing arts and crafts and things like that and doodling and arts work, arts work, yes. Artwork, sketching, etc. I have fallen hard in love with alcohol markers. I thought I would be into watercolours and gouache and everything. So I bought watercolours and gouache and everything. And I have them and I will still use them if someday, eventually, or whatever. But at the moment, like, I'm really, really liking the, like, harsh, really saturated in-your-face colours that alcohol markers give you. I mean, I can get that with gouache as well. Because... You can make it really opaque like an acrylic, but you can also blend it out like a watercolour. So it's like the best of both worlds. So sorry. <laughs> Fully don't think I'm going to do this entire face, but hey, uh, this entire picture. But hey, she can have little cheek piercings like me. This is like me if I ever had the... <laughs> If I ever got the balls to dye my hair or any other colour than blonde. Because at the moment, same as I said, like, I'm really enjoying how light it is. So I have no intention on doing so at the moment. Oh, I'm so sorry, Monica. You look a hot mess. Wow. That is truly... Truly terrifying. Oh my goodness. Um, I just really don't want to do the clothing. Clothing is ridiculously hard. Uh, da -da -da -da. What colour clothing can she wear? She's got green hair, so she can't really have green top. Mm, let's go for black. Black, black, black. Because I like black. And all of my wardrobe is black. I have a top like this. Again, like I said, this is like me if I had green hair. But she's a hot mess. 
Should we give her tattoos? Should we give her my tattoos as well? That means I've got to draw said tattoos. Where is this poor girl's neck gone? Good lord. There we go. And then pop a day for the shoulders. That is the world's thinnest neck ever. I apologize. <laughs> oh my god, please can this video end? Please, please, please. Yep, that, that's that. <laughs> this poor girl. Getting rid of a big bum a bit, look. Because that was a little bit, a little bit too much. I'm just using this black coloured pencil now for everything. I don't mean to. Go back in with my to be or not to be pencil. And try Oh, poor woman. That's a bit better. Give her arms a little... No, she just kind of goes... Bloop. We don't need that. I'm so sorry, Monica. Do you need some kind of shoulder? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that looks like too much. Like she's got shoulder pads when she's not wearing something that has shoulder pads it's just her actual arm these are some chunky chunky arms but we're just gonna deal with it because i don't want to do them again wow them them be some messed up <laughs> shoulders good lord this poor 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 woman I want to see what you do with these paper stumps, so I'm going to get one out and shimmy it over something. Like, why is this one really sharp, but then these ones aren't? What is this? What do you do? Ooh, Ooh it's smudging. Ooh. So that would be good for when I'm doing just like pencil drawing studies or whatever quite exciting why is it going to be a stump though why could i not just uh get a piece of paper and smush it everywhere is the stump practical is the stump needed will this blend this the answer is no so just like pencil pencils not colouring pencils, but... Hmm, I quite like these. La 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 A little bit of shading to blend out. Oh, it's really cool that it gets rid of all the lines. Again, you're probably watching this like, yeah, I already knew that. Well, I didn't. This is all new to me. And it's very exciting. I don't even think I'm going to bother doing the legs or the trousers. Because this poor woman is looking a little bit worse for wear. Is that my pencil? It is my pencil. Pockets. She's having pockets that her hands are going into because it makes it easier and I don't have to draw them <laughs> what is going on here why has she got such a bulbous arm and like no elbow her elbow should be like here but it bends in the wrong place right, you didn't come to this channel for an anatomy lesson so do not come for me, okay? I apologise, as I've said many a time in this video. I am not, like, I'm really, really, really new into all of this. And I don't know what I'm doing. So I think I've probably done body forms. Hmm. Like, 
four or five times up to this point. This is what we got. Ah, uh, Monica. Oh my goodness. Poor, poor woman. I'm so sorry, Monica. Look at her arms. Her poor arms. The poor lovely lady didn't deserve this. But this this is what we've got. <laughs> we've got. Wow. Oh, God, I hate colouring pencils so bad. But I'm just uh, playing with this thing again because it's exciting. Mm -hmm. It feels like Play-Doh, uh, not Play-Doh, Blue Tack, that's the one. And I always used to get like, it'd come in like sandwiched in between two sheets. And I was always just like pull the whole thing out and ball it up and sit pulling at it and playing with it and stuff. Because I am a child. It's very fun. It is getting a lot more pliable now that I've used it and like stretched it out and everything a bit more. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, there's probably better ones out there but same as i said like i'm brand new to all of this and i didn't want to fork out loads of money so 10 pounds for this set ain't half bad i haven't like, i feel pretty bad that i haven't like kind of swatched the colors and everything so i'm gonna quickly do that so oh goodness they don't have any shade names but i mean they're not amazing but they're not bad either i just don't like coloring pencils at all Oh my goodness. Why is her face so long? So, so long. Oh God, Monica, I'm so sorry. I've done you so dirty. In my sketchbook, her face is a lot more rounded, but in this, for some reason, she's gone very horse-faced. That's not the vibe I was going for. I haven't sharpened any of these pencils, so that could have something to do with it as well. Um, I mean, you probably wouldn't even use them to the extent that I've done. You might do it with a finer, a finer stroke. Is it called a stroke with a crayon pencil? Probably not. Get back here. Ooh, I like this color. I have many a lipstick in this colour. I've got a wine, burgundy colour. Brune. Ugh, we're nearly there guys, nearly there. Yeah. Done! Yay! Ta -ta -ta. Um, I don't really think there's any need to swatch sketching pencils. But you can see with the 6B, it's a chunky, a chunky lead. Um, this is what they look like, let me get them out for you. This is what they all look like. So this is like 6B and then it makes its way down. Obviously 2B is here. And then making our way up to the H pencils, I believe. Yep, three H in that lot. I have loads of sketching pencil sets and I don't really sketch. I feel like I really need to start doing something. Something with sketching because I keep buying them and I keep getting them. And like my friend has given me some and I just don't really do anything with them. Like, is there any... If you're only, like, doodling with the intention to colour in, is there any need for the 12 different sketching pencils? Or can I just go in? Because surely I'm rubbing most of it out anyway with my eraser. So it doesn't really matter. As I said, I didn't get to use these. Just laying out for a nice little finishing scene. We had a bit of a casualty halfway through the video where this little mannequin fell over. How do you even get these to pose? Like I, oh, no, there we go. 
Like, how do you even get these guys to pose? Because the hands won't stay where you want them to, just like ping, ping, ping. Like, is it just a matter of that they're just going to constantly be standing up or whatever? But he just, he just kind of fell over, so. See, he's, he's drunk, he's drunk. Go home. So that is the end of this video. Oh my god, the more I look at this, why is this one so far over as well? Like, this needed to be like... Here, maybe? I don't know. She she just looks so angry. And the nose rings make it look like she's got really like big nostrils. So there's that. I am not good at this, so I apologize. If you like seeing me squirm and struggle to do anything like this, then please feel free to leave a comment down below. <laughs> the more I look at this, why is her wrist so thin? Oh, I'm gonna have to close it. Sorry, Monica. But then my display will look off. Oh, she's gonna have to stay. I just won't look at her. <laughs> if you want to see more of these kinds of videos where I kind of test the bits and bobs that I've got in some form of art, art, this, so, <laughs> then feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to sit and play with this for the rest of the night now. Ah. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I do intend on having another art Rookie Does Crafts video up soon. Um, possibly not painting or drawing. It may be card making because I have got gifted a whole heap of card making things and I've been watching a whole lot of videos on it all. So I can't stop playing with this thing card making might be the next one so if there's any particular card you want me to do i have some clear stamps that i really want to try i'm just gonna cover up i have some stamps that i want to try uh obviously i've got my alcohol markers i've got paints i've got a couple of inks like ink pad things i don't think they're oxide inks so i don't know about blendability and things like that see i know the lingo but um i'll give it a go if it's well, I'm going to do it anyway, so I might as well film it and get it up on here. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. So, can't please everyone. <laughs> but on that note, I shall catch you on the next one. Bye!